but this is kind of crazy. See, the, the, these things are the instances. Uh, yeah. Wait, which, what's the, what are the instances? Uh, Why is it have the, like these, a... uh, Because they're the active the, uh, bodies, they're kinematic bodies. Hmm. All that <laughs> stuff is. That's the tail. Yeah, like the the oh, the tentacle. Oh, they have all the little tiny actors yeah. or whatever joints in them. Hmm. Impressive. So you're okay. So you're saying that until we optimize the mesh, you think it's kind of crazy just doing. I don't know. Insane. I don't think it's that big a deal. Um, I'll talk to Max about this, but yeah, I, I I'm surprised about the amount of detail we have on the on this. Uh, it's probably not a big problem because physics is really efficient but it's crazy. Right. On so the yeah. occlusion you mean like on the No this is so the what instancing is? would save us uh, so you see those fans here right yeah. there's two of them right uh, on top of each other so right now there is polygons basically for uh, duplicated for each instance of the um, of the fan in the scene. Right. So I will only be able to store like one instance of this and then all of the other fans will use the same polygons right. which is great except for the majority of the polygons are are in this giant scene here so that's yeah so basically oh i see so no savings unless it's <laughs> yeah. uh, animation like, essentially on it like if it's rigged and has some kind of exactly well if if it's um if it's prop essentially props are the the, the yeah. things that will benefit from the instancing well, plus we have like four fans in the whole level or something. It's like, who cares about instancing that? I mean, there's, there's some, some savings, like the hives, for example, will get instanced all of the uh, armories and right. command centers. That's and true. Stuff, and stuff like this. probably players too, And, right? you know, yeah, we'll, we'll have a lot of props in, in the scene. But, um, but compared to that In terms mesh. of memory usage, it is coming. I think m mainly I can do some more digging into this, but I think <laughs> self-evident that it's the giant static mesh yeah. that's, called it, that's taking up a lot of the space. Right. Um, and it's only 60 megs. It's a big deal. <laughs> Is that not... Are you, like, being facetious, or...? Compared to... Um, what, what, what did we have for sound? Uh, oh, before, it was, like, what? Max maybe three or four hundred <laughs> yeah. megs? That's true. It's probably a lot better now. But I guess we're not really thinking about memory usage at the moment, right? Um, we're thinking I'm about server CPU. Somewhat concerned about the CPU right now, so I'll right. do some... A little bit more digging there, too. Mm -hmm. Well, so how? So you're thinking maybe of chunking up that data here? I wonder if we could simplify some. But the thing is, that would be a lot of work because, um, like here, you have all these. These are all different faces here um, right. in the collision, and I don't think the players will be colliding against those, right? I don't know. Uh, the collide against guess, the inside. Yeah. In this particular area, but on the outside. It seems like the most no. savings you would get is from instancing all the props. Oh are yeah. Duplicated, right? Yeah, but it's not. That much. I mean, I'll, I'll do it anyway. But it's uh, we we're not going to save an awful lot of memory. Can the Wait, are you sure? Like, no, the, all the player, all the props, like the, the railings props and so stairs and stuff. Oh, really? It's all. These are all. Mostly, look, it's all props. Where is yeah. The props? So yeah, you have to look at look at them in the level. Uh, Corey can show you. Um, I mean, like even all those cop those are all props. Which ones? These things? The, yeah, these columns are made out of all props. Right, let's They'll see what they look like in here. Maybe maybe I'm seeing it wrong. Yeah, it's just. I wonder how you could draw that, uh, so you could actually see what's going on. Is there any room there in the distance? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, it takes forever to get over there, huh? It's far away. It's always weird how the ready room that is, is the ready level, room, right? but yeah. I'm assuming so. Do we see the props in here? Um, yeah. Wait, so. is that the ready room? Maybe yes. not. Is it? it is. If you zoom it in, must be, but further. Just... It's in the middle of that. See, this is the doorway there. This is the end of the thing. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Get into it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> it's hard to see the scale on that thing. So, oops, sorry. Wow. So these are the props. All right. In that case, that, that may be that's a problem, that yeah. may be good news because I was okay. I was thinking because uh, it's all the same color. I was assuming exactly. that it's all static geometry. Uh, that's the player here. How awesome is that? Oh, would you do it again? Nice. Oh, that's awesome, yeah. It's like a fun game. Yeah. It's funny how on the left we have like a much more sophisticated rendering version of this level, but on the right it just looks so cool. Like that's what <laughs> interests me. I don't really know why. That's so, so cool. With the, with the flashy uh, psychedelic players. So, so you have the physics representation representation on the mm -hmm. right showing 
kind of the like hooked in that communicating with the game. Mm-hmm. Physics is pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, so maybe maybe the instancing will help. We'll see. We'll see. Today I'll know exactly how much memory we'll save. So that was um, all yeah, part of this effort is to see how much memory we use. There really is a lot of prop usage, um, and especially on even other maps. There could be more. But I mean, like all the rocks are all props. Fantastic. So. Okay. All right. So Sounds good. We'll, we're at 62 megs now. We'll see uh, what we're at at the end of the day. Awesome. Thanks.